hi guys welcome back to my channel so it is melissa here aka a Rose, a Melrose universe and i'm back with another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so as you can tell by the title of this video this video is going to be t um talking about the truth about long distance relationship and about you know everything long distance um so as you all know i'm in currently in a long distance engagement with my fiance samuel um he lives in kumasi ghana and i live in michigan usa so we are thousands and thousands and thousands miles apart from each other we're literally separated from each other from the atlantic by the atlantic ocean and i went to go visit him in may and i stayed for three weeks the next time that we will be together will um be and he will be coming here in september so y'all i'm not gonna sit here and and say oh long distance relationships are awesome and they rock and it's just so perfect and everything is great because that's not the case but long distance relationships are not necessarily all bad. I'm going to give you the pros of a long distance relationship and then I'm going to give you the cons of the long distance relationship. For for me, the pros of our long distance relationship is that we are actually able to really um, keep the Lord centered. We have to keep the Lord the number one priority in our lives, which you, you should do that in any relationship, but especially in our reunion, because the Lord is the one who brought us together. So this relationship belongs to him. So we have to rely not on our own strength. We have to not rely on each other, but we have to rely on Jesus the, and the Holy Spirit pretty much for our whole entire union. Um, our whole entire union is really centered on, you know, really centered on keeping Christ first and, cre and keeping Christ number one in our lives. Um, and so when it gets hard, and y'all sometimes it's so hard where i literally feel like my heart is going to break and i feel like i miss him so much that my 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 heart is literally breaking into a thousand pieces and every day i yearn to be with him and every day he yearn, he yearns to be with me but the one thing that i know that the lord has been teaching us is i bring that to my number two reason is communication um i believe that this is preparing us for marriage in terms of how we communicate with each other. Because in a long distance relationship, guess what? All you can do is communicate. All you can do is talk. All you can do is you have to work through those problems. You can't just be by each other and then because you just want to get back together that you just, you know, make up and kiss and make up and everything's all great because you're physically there with each other. We have to communicate about everything, every aspect everything is about communication telling each other how you feel communicating each other about what you're doing so that you can keep that trust and that you keep that foundation um close to each other like you know everything is communication now i'm sorry if it's a little dark as well it's because the um might be a little dark because because i'm outside and the sun is kind of setting but everything is communicating. We have to communicate with each other. And sometimes that's hard for me and Samuel. I'm not going to sit here and say that we have it down packed because I'm a completely different person I was when I entered into this relationship with Samuel than when than what I was when um, than, than what I am now. I sucked at communicating. And that's the one thing. That's how I know that the Lord, the Lord is funny. His ways are higher than our ways, you know. And the Lord brought us together. And one of the things that we both were really bad on was communicating. When we would get upset, we both would shut down. When we would get when we would get hurt or sad, we both would shut down. And in this relationship, we have to communicate and say, "Hey, you know what, babe? That really hurt my feelings when you did that. I, you know, and this is why. Or, you know, I really love that you do that, and this is why. Because it's not just always negative things that you have to communicate. It's the good things you have to you have to communicate too. You have to affirm each other and lift each other up, and you have to find creative ways to be able to spend time with each other. So, um, one thing that Samuel and I I do, we do Bible plans together so that we can, so that we're in constant communication with each other, constantly keeping the Lord the center of our relationship. Um. Also, we video chat a lot. We video chat and we talk on the phone um like all the time we text all the time we are 
we we chat on each other's um instagram pages all the time we're basically are involved with each other's life totally involved with each other lives like he's met melody on facebook he spends time with melody on facetime we you know anything that we anything that we have to do for our businesses and things like that we share it online with each other we share everything the phone is literally our best friend we share everything through whatsapp through iMessage Instagram Facebook YouTube whatever we're constantly in communication with each other so that it's so the really the only thing that we're missing is being physically present I would say the uh, another pro the third thing of being in a long-distance relationship is that we really have to take the time to get to know each other we have to really know each other we can't just because you know how in relationships how you could have spent years with someone and really not know that much about them because everything has been so physically tied everything has been so tied where you have been so wrapped up in this person that you haven't really taken the time to really get to know the person what are their likes what are their dislikes what's obsessed what upsets them what um you know how are they when they're upset how are they when they're happy how are they when everything's going great how are they when everything's going bad how are how is everything when they have money how are they when they don't have any money so we have to literally get to know each other on all aspects and we have to see each other and we have to work through those things of getting to know each other because all we have is communication um and we don't have that 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 physical part um i would say another pro of our long distance relationship is the fact that we get to travel that's really fun. I love traveling and I love the fact that Samuel is from a different background, different culture than me because I get to, we have something new to talk about every single day, y'all. We have something new to learn about each other every single day. Samuel and I are going to never stop just not getting to know each other personality wise, but we're also never going to stop getting to know each other just, just from our different cultures you know the different things that we do and i'm learning his language and he's learning new things about english as well because he speaks english but there are certain phrases you know things that you know that he doesn't know that i'm able to introduce him to or you know certain ways to write or speak you know um he's actually able to improve on his english as well and i'm and i'm learning um tree i'm learning yoruba because he you know samuel is a Ghanaian, but he grew up in nigeria and i'm learning pigeon like i'm learning how to be able to communicate and speak with him so that i can talk to his mom and his dad and his sisters and brothers um although his sisters and brothers they actually speak english his mom doesn't really speak as much english but um you know i'm learning that so i'll be able to communicate with him and talk with him because i i want to know his language um and another pro is the food i get to cook in a whole different way for him and i actually just went to african market uh last week where i was able to see like y'all did y'all know that they have such thing as called in instant fufu they got instant fufu yep i'm gonna get some of that instant fufu because having a pound that i saw a lady his mom sounds pounding the fufu and i was like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do all that but you know i'm gonna try anything for my bae but you know i'm gonna try it. but yeah I, I do like that instant fufu it's coming a little powder you know cook that up and there we go make the little stew boo <laughs> i'm a good african wife right <laughs> i'm just playing um but yeah, so, you know, him trying my food, him trying American food, even though I eat really healthy, I don't want him to eat it because a lot of American food is processed. Um, so I don't necessarily want him to eat like all of that, but I do want him to try like, you know what I'm saying? Like different things in our culture. Like I can go with him to like a, a they call football, we call soccer what they call football. Let's go to a fo football game with him and then I can take him to an American football game and in the stadium and, you know, introduce him to so many different things. Like, so that is a, that is definitely a pro of us being in a long distance relationship and us having different cultures and different, um, you know, different backgrounds. Now for the cons. Obviously the distance. Um, distance is hard. There are some days where I just cry. If I'm just honest with you guys, some days I just cry and I, and I cry out to God and I just say, God, I, I just, this is so hard. I love him and I miss him. And I ask him, why, why did you bring this on us? Why, why did we have to go through this? Why can't we just be like every normal couple and be able to be together? And the Lord always tells me, you know, his grace is sufficient and that it belongs to him. And that if I could just trust him, that the Lord is going to work it out. So Samuel and I, we, we do have bad days, especially on the days when, when we when we're in an argument. We do have bad days. There have been days where the Lord has told us to take breaks from each other. I mean, like five day breaks from each other where the Lord wants to work with us and he wants to spend time with us. And that's hard because you are already distant from each other. And then you'd be like, Lord, you want to take another break? Like, ha, ha. 
make that make sense <laughs> but and, and and it actually turns out that it works and it keeps our relationship renewed and it constantly keeps us keep keeps us at the feet of jesus which is the number one thing keeping jesus to center so us being in the distance we have to do that but um the distance is really hard because when i love him and when god has especially when god has gifted you someone this person literally feels so attached to you like samuel feels a part of me and when i left him in ghana on the plane ride i cried pretty much the whole ride i cried because I was so harp. I was so excited. It was like I was torn because it's like I miss my daughter so much. I felt like I was my heart was breaking for my daughter, and I miss Samuel so much, and I had just left him. So the distance is Marissa, definitely something that Marissa, is. Yes, baby. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I'll be over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the distance was something that was really, really. The distance is something that is hard, and then to be honest with you. I'm happy for when we get married that we won't have to have distance. Like I said, the Lord has already told us what we will be doing. Shut the door, Fefe. The Lord has already told us what we'd be doing. You know, I know we're going to be traveling because his organization, he's, that's going to require him to travel. And guess what? I'm going to be going with him. I'm going to be having to travel. So we're going to be traveling together. We both have agreed that after, you know, after we get married, we ain't going to be having no long, no more long distance. Like, unless we absolutely have to. And of course, the Lord will sustain us and he will help us get through that. And he will be there for us, you know, to help us, you know, navigate that, um, navigate that at the, at, at the point that that is something that we have to do. So, um, yeah, I would definitely say the con of it is the distance. The con is not being able to hang out with his family and spend time with his family um, like I would want to. And to really, you know, hang, hang out with his sisters and his mom and his dad and just really be there in his culture and really be there with his family. You know how you would be able to be here. You know how you do here in your relationships. You can just hang out with your friends, hang out with your family. But I would say that we have created a good, a good relationship with each other's um, important people in each other's lives. Like I talk to his sisters on WhatsApp. I talk to his brothers on WhatsApp. His best friends. I talk to them on WhatsApp. Um, we communicate. We talk on the phone sometimes. We we uh, talk on Instagram. We're all friends on Instagram. Samuel's friends with my best friends, um, Shakira and Thomas. He talks to them. You know, they're our accountability partners. When we need someone to intervene in our relationship, give us advice, we have them. So we definitely make the best out of the cons of our relationship. Um, and we try to turn them into pros, if that makes sense. But I'm not going to sit here and say that we have a down pack, that it's perfect, that every day is flowers and every day is great. No, I mean, we're away from each other. And sometimes that is hard. Um, Literally, sometimes all you can do is cry, but then you re but then you remember, you don't lose your confidence in what God is doing, and we get back up, and we love each other through it, and all I know is that our love has grown so much than where we just were when I was there in May, from where we were in the beginning to where we are now, so God is good, and his grace is sufficient, and love conquers all, so... I would just say advice to any long distance couples out there. If you have God, if God had brought you to get, first of all, you have to be equally yoked. And if this is the person that God has, if, if this is the person that God has, has brought for you, then it's, he's going to sustain you and he's going to give you guys the strength to conquer and to, and to endure that long distance relationship. Cause the Bible says love conquers all. So if you have love for each other, if you have the fruit of the spirit, which is love, patience, kindness, um, faithfulness, um, you know, then you guys will be able to exercise that towards each other and put that towards each other. And that your love will not just be for each other, but your love will be a three braided cord with Christ and you and your spouse or your significant other. So that's my advice to any long distance couple is to keep Christ first. Remember why you're doing it make a plan we've made a plan um we wrote our vision we wrote out what we want our life to look like and we've left it there for for god to do his part in the meantime we try to wake up and we try to have joy we try to make the best out of the fact that we are able to still be able to spend a lot of each other's lives through you know through great apps like whatsapp facetime and on the phone you know so we try to be grateful for the things that the lord has given us for our relationship so that when it does come time for us to be together we'll be able to our foundation will be strong and our foundation won't be in ourselves, which are because our flesh is weak and won't be in the world, but it will be in Christ. So I hope this video really encouraged you guys. Um, and I hope that there's any long distance couples out there. I hope that my relationship, my journey that you guys have seen, that it encourages you. If this is a Christ centered relationship, that this encourages you 
to keep up the good fight, to continue to have faith in God, continue to have faith in each other, continue to fight together. Don't give up and that there will be glory after this and that the um, that the finish line is just around the corner. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.